What's going on one and all and welcome back to City Skylines. We are starting a brand new city and we are going to design it this time. Instead of just play, we're going to put some effort into designing the city, which we are calling Northern Valley. Yeah, I don't know if the city itself is going to be Northern Valley or if just the entire area is going to be known as Northern Valley. Maybe we'll name the city district at some point later on, but... Uh, I had a lot of suggestions in the precursor video to name it something valley or something something and I wanted to stick to northern because uh, the map just kind of calls for it to be a northern map for whatever reason. I just think it's more of a northern type area, especially with the uh, the way the sun sits on it and everything. So we are going with northern valley. So uh, yes, the first thing we had to do is obviously get some power to the city. And we do that by starting work on our hydroelectric dam. And uh, I struggled with this a little bit. Uh, I never really understood how the dams worked in this game. It was kind of a shoot in the dark kind of thing and trial and error. And uh, I, if I had one suggestion from this whole experience, it would be if you are putting a dam in and you have access to the terrain tools, go ahead and do all of the terrain editing behind the dam before it fills up with water because once you fill it up with water you just saw how slow the water like flows and settles in this game it takes forever so do any work behind the dam uh up front trust me you're gonna you're gonna definitely benefit from doing that but uh we i had to do a lot of terrain editing in this video i cut down about six and a half hours worth of footage for this video uh, so yeah, it's uh, a lot of terraforming that I'm actually going to cut out of this video. Um, in the future, I'm going to leave a lot more of the stuff that I do in time lapses in, but this one we had so much going on that I didn't want to bog everybody down with watching the minute details of everything. So uh, yeah, a lot of the terrain stuff is actually cut out, but of course we're going to stop back into the, into the city and we're going to see it at the end here. So... The dam obviously has a road on top of it, so we had to go ahead and figure out what we wanted to do with the road. And uh, I ended up cutting a path through this kind of cliffside. And then I originally had just laid the road down, but then I thought it would be really cool if some of the cliff stayed around and we just went ahead and put tunnels through it. And in the end, I think this choice was awesome. It comes out really, really awesome. So on the top part of the dam, on the banks of this new artificial lake that the dam creates, I figured uh, it's gonna be a large reservoir. And typically what, with dams, you have a large reservoir that a lot of people will tap into for drinking water. And so I found these clarifiers and I, I'm not sure if these actually give us like drinking water. I think they do. Or they might be waste disposal, like in the game with this mod. But anyway, I figured a few of these lining the lake right behind the dam would look really awesome. So I go ahead and try to kind of fit these in here. And these uh, key walls are very finicky when you get really close to things. But the one thing that I did discover while I was trying to figure all of this out is that the road anarchy actually works with these walls. So it seems as though road anarchy just kind of takes the tool that these walls are and roads all use the alignment tool i don't even know how you would describe it but uh it it works the same way so you can use road anarchy for the walls and then since i have the uh i think key anarchy as well i can put the walls anywhere on the map and uh basically do whatever i need to do uh, there was a lot of tweaking that went on in these back areas of this dam and it uh, it took forever to get it right. Uh, the walls, like I said, were just kind of very annoying to get straight. And then the clarifiers kept getting like terrain clipped through them, which didn't look good. So I had to figure out a way. I think I went through it like three separate times of just starting over from scratch before I finally got something that kind of worked. And then anytime I would do terrain edits behind the dam, water would just flow over the dam and flood everything and it took like i said before a long time to settle down but uh yeah i got it done eventually and it's all settled now so it's really really awesome uh the one thing that i guess i don't like or don't care about at the end of this all is that 
there's so much open space on the top by these clarifiers that, like, I'm not exactly sure what to do. I put some props in, and I, I kind of made it some sort of workspace, like someone would be up there, like, tending to them or something. But, uh, it, it, it's still a little bit bland or just bleak up there, so I'm not sure what we can do up there. I'm not sure if we should cut some of the, the fences in. You'll see the fences later. But, uh, yeah, I guess uh, we'll figure that one out. Uh, also, I guess another note is I'm not sure what we want to call the dam. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments uh, what we should name the dam and then what we should name the artificial lake behind the dam. Because you know how uh, the Hoover Dam in the U.S. has uh, Lake Mead, I believe? Um, yeah, we're going to have to name it something. Yeah, the next couple episodes are going to be kind of cool. We, uh, all this entire first episode, this entire first six hours of this map was me putting this damn, damn in. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get moving faster in the future, but, I mean, we're still going to detail everything. It's going to be very detail heavy. And, uh, I guess I should, uh, well, before I talk about the mods, uh, I want to talk a little bit about what we're doing right now on screen, and that is putting some buildings down here. I have the Rico mod installed and I can plop buildings now and I've, every hydroelectric dam is gonna have a power station somewhere. It's not just gonna be the dam and magically there's gonna be electricity generated from it. So uh, in this little area I put the walls, the key walls down on the river with the outflow and we have just some buildings that we're gonna imagine are power generation plants. And uh, I think they come out pretty nice at the end. I do a lot of work with uh, some of the detailing around this area, and that's kind of what took so long. The other part that took so long is just letting the water just kind of settle. Yeah, we get it all done, though. So, uh, yeah, on to the mod list, which is in the description below, right above that comment section. Uh, we have... A, I put together a mod list for this. I have uh, subscribed to a bunch of design... Um, oriented mods. I've stayed away from any of the performance or uh, simulation tweaking mods, so you'll notice that uh, if you followed One Way Bay, we're actually not going to be using the Rush Hour mod in this playthrough because of the performance hit that it took on uh, One Way Bay, which is, I think is part of the reason why we didn't, we weren't able to grow that city much bigger. Um, yeah, you'll see me putting some pipes in now. Uh, this whole area, I figure, would be tapping all of the water from the uh, the dam and the reservoir. And I know it's probably not realistic to have these small little pipes that are going to pump all of the water into these tanks. I mean, it, it. I guess it is possible, but like for a hydro, like to generate, to spin the turbines, they're going to have to like put massive amounts of water through all of this. So, uh, yeah, it's a little unrealistic, but at the same time, uh, in reality, I guess these buildings would kind of just be right up on the dam, and there wouldn't be a gap in between it, but, uh, this is as close as we got. And these pipes, uh, let me tell you, they were so annoying to try to get, like, lined up. I, I would, would sit there, and I'd delete it over and over and over, and try to get it to, like, line up correctly with the other segment. Uh, and in the end, I realized it's just a really small detail in the grand scheme of things. No one's really going to notice if the pipes are a little out of whack. It was just really frustrating because I would sit there and I'd try to get it in line and it would it would look on my screen like it was in line, but then I'd click it and it would just shift like a pixel over. And it was so frustrating, but in the end, it's all good. Um, Anyway, back to the mods and asset list. All of the assets that are in that list at the moment, uh, obviously some of them haven't been used. Uh, some of them may never be used in this playthrough. I just went through and I added every asset that I've subscribed to from the workshop. Um, yeah, it, to nitpick and choose all of the assets that I put in would just be insane. So... Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that. If you guys see anything, like, really cool, you can go into that list and grab it for yourself. I highly recommend it. A lot of these assets are really, really awesome. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I was staying off of some of the things. Like, I had a couple people suggest to me that we should use the, uh, traffic, uh, president, I think. Uh, the traffic manager president's edition or whatever that mod is. 
that overhauls the lane usage and makes the AI a little bit smarter when it comes to like getting to from A to B. Uh, we're not going to be using that one. It's going to take too much performance hit, and my computer, frankly, can't handle it. I want to keep... I, I want to get going in this city as long as I can, or as long as we can for this series. So we're going to design it, which is going to take a toll on my computer. But if I had, like, the simulation engine running under it and taking up even more resources, it would just be way too much for me. Um, we're not... We would never be able to do it. So uh, I do have... Um, the network extensions mods, uh, which is going to be really awesome because it adds a bunch of roads that the base game can use, but it adds a lot of like versatility. So the road up across the dam eventually turns into a national highway, which is just a really fast like two lane road. So it's it's really 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 cool. Uh, we're going to be able to do a lot with it. So. Um, yeah, you'll see me putting down here some uh, parking lots, and this process right here, me putting individual spaces in, took way longer than it should have. I didn't use my brain, and I forgot I had the prop line tool, and that tool makes this process so much faster and easier. I can't believe I, like, kicked myself now knowing that I can do it because it makes everything so much easier. And uh, I actually learned how to use the prop line tool. You can actually place things down and then modify where you placed them. And uh, you'll see that in the next segment, I guess. Anyway, we have to decorate the banks of this river. And these rocks are kind of interesting. They snap to the terrain. So they actually, like deform and like modify the way they kind of are which made it for a really cool like area instead of just the default kind of rock texture of the terrain we actually have some actual rocks that kind of washed up on the shores um and then of course uh we had to cap everything off by putting trees down and up at the top you'll see me kind of finick with the trees a little bit. I wanted the trees up around here to be kind of like we cut through a wealth of nature. Um, yeah, this like this area up at the at the top, especially up here. Oh, here I am with the uh, the the new prop line tool, like the newfound method. Yeah, you can actually click and drag where you put things and align them, and it makes everything so much easier. Uh, I'm so happy that I figured that out, and uh, yeah, it makes everything so much better. But back to the nature point, I wanted all of this to look like we just intruded on nature, as bad as that may sound. So I filled up a lot of the trees up, or a lot of the space up here with trees, and that actually, you know, it it was for a different purpose, uh, and that is the cross section of that pavement doesn't look really well, like the pavement we've seen before snaps very strange um, so the trees were basically there to cover it up but uh, yeah in the end I think it looks pretty awesome so at nearing the end of this build I had figured that you know we built a spectacular dam for this city and a lot of people it may attract a lot of people in to be like a tourist trap like uh, the Hoover Dam is kind of like a thing that if you're in Las Vegas you want to go see it so I put this parking area down and then I put this whole like over overlay or um, overarching pathway I guess a little walkway over the cliff side so like people could come over here kind of park have a picnic and do whatever they want to do and then they could go in there and kind of just look over the dam and just be amazed at the sheer engineering of it all. So, let's get back into the live version where we go in and look at the city. So, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in what is now known as Northern Valley. So, this is our pretty much bare map. Our dam is over here, but I'm kind of I've kind of got a little bit of this planned out uh, generally. So uh, if there's any suggestions that you guys want to make, of course, go ahead and do that in the comment section. But I'm feeling like our main downtown area is probably going to be right on this kind of peninsula where these two rivers kind of 
empty out into what is probably some sort of bay. I would imagine over here we have some sort of lake or ocean. Um, this whole area just screams north to me. I don't really know why. I think it's partly due to the trees and just the way that the uh, color correction that I have on this right now looks. But uh, yeah. Um, so this will be our downtown area. A lot of this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, we're going to have a lot of like uh, signature buildings, I'm thinking. I'm kind of leaning toward a, a brick downtown look. So uh, yeah, with that in mind, you guys are going to have to help me name all of this kind of stuff. And uh, we'll do that as the time comes. But for now, let's go over and check out our dam. But actually, before we do that, look, we have two waterfalls over here. I've never had a waterfall on a map before, and I've always wanted it, and now we have two, and this looks awesome. Oh, by the way, 81 tiles mod is active, so we have all of this land. Anything you see on this map, we can go ahead and use, so we're going to be using as much as possible, and I'm thinking we're going to lean more toward the low density, because I just I want to do as much work on this as possible, and I don't want to bog the computer down like I said before because uh, I can't afford upgrades. But uh, <laughs> anyway, this is the top of the dam. Let's start up here. Uh, we have this beautiful, this river just flows in here. This isn't really like a waterfall, but there is kind of a water uh, rapids kind of type thing down here. And uh, if you saw in the way early part of the time lapse, I actually put a water source here. I believe it's still here, but it's feeding into the dam. Uh, I I put a bunch of water sources around just to try to get this thing to work and eventually it worked Like I said before guess and check and it all worked. So uh, that's that anyway this top area We have these little booths with the sliding gate and then I put a Jeep down here as if someone were, were to be working it um, Yeah, this is obviously an employee only area. I have a bunch of cars that I downloaded as assets from the workshop so We've made this place kind of feel alive. We have a bunch of tanks. I'm not really sure exactly what these would be uh, or what they would be used for. Maybe like the city would have like gas in it and this would be the place where all of the city vehicles could go ahead and top off with their uh, their gas. Uh, of course, porta potties definitely necessary. Uh, and then these are the clarifiers up here and then another truck and tanks back here with uh, just some Jeeps working the area. Like I said before though, this, it, it feels a little blank up here. There's really not much else I could think to put up here, but I think for now it's probably okay. Uh, they would have, I guess, a border. And like I was trying to explain, I don't know if I did it very well, but this cement tool, like, on this angle looks very strange. When I put the fence on, it looks a little weird. So that's why the nature is kind of pushed up so heavily on here. And it's also, I guess, some sort of statement about what dams could do to nature. If you want to get all political with it, I, I, there was no intent for that. But I really like how it all came out. How the nature kind of is up here. And it kind of spills out in this little valley into this area where it would have probably spilled down the valley a little more. Uh, until we put a lake here. But yeah, here is our little overlook area. The little park system. We have some fences so no one jumps off, hopefully. I mean, they're really not that tall, and at one point they do kind of end, so hopefully no one's going to trip and fall over the, cl the cliff side into our power. But this is a really cool little area where you could feasibly come off here and just get a phenomenal view of the dam and the power and just the entire valley. This looks amazing. So let's go down here and check out the power station. So I guess the main building would be this one. So the main way to get in is going to be over here. You have to go through this little tunnel that I talked about earlier. We have a little hydroelectric dam sign. They're kind of scattered everywhere. Uh, the power lines, of course, we have yet to connect. So a lot of this stuff has yet to be seen how it's gonna connect out. So really this whole area right here is just our focus. Um, let's not worry about the details past that, but these little rocks here just add so much to this bank, uh, the river bank over here. It looks so much, so much better. And then we have some rocks. We probably would have had to set a couple artificial rocks down 
after we put the the key walls in here and of course the night time is approaching so actually let me I have the time warp mod so we can go ahead and uh, get that settled so these pumps uh, you may have just seen don't actually do anything I'm a little worried that if I were to turn them on they would suck all the water up over here and cause some sort of issue where the dam would no longer work so I mean we could maybe turn them on later I'm not sure if that's a good idea I might do that and test it but uh, anyway we have a bunch of parking lots that took way too long to do and then we have cars just kind of scattered around and this guy kind of parked like an asshole but you know whatever um, anyway the more here's a tip that I've kind of seen and grown into playing this game the more you can make the game like if I pause it right now this game has or this scene has a lot of character in it it looks like it's alive even though it's not working and that is definitely something to strive toward if you're trying to get cities to look better that might be one of the thing like uh, if you come over here there's a semi truck just parked out here uh, there's a truck over here that's topping off with fresh water in these storage basins um, with little cones I mean it's just that little bit of like life that the props can give you that really really make this such an awesome thing um, anyway, over here we have the same kind of thing happening with a truck getting some water from these storage tanks. Uh, in my mind, the water would be going through the dam, and then into this would be the main powerhouse of the area. This would also be a powerhouse, and then this is kind of just an office system or something for the entire area. Uh, but yeah, this would be the main one, and of course, like I said before, all of the water would not be going through this tiny little pipe. There'd be huge pipes that are piping this in, if not just a building connecting into the dam. But uh, for now, we just have to imagine because actually all of the water is getting, or all of the electricity is getting generated through the actual dam itself. But uh, these little substations are really awesome. I found these and I, I love them. They are so awesome and you can put power lines right up to it. So all of the power that's being generated in the dam is then being sent out this way. And this was so annoying to get done right with the terrain here. I kept trying to get these mountains to work out where they didn't have grass on top of them. But it just, it was super annoying. And then eventually I just cut like a path through here. And I love this little bobcat right sitting here like it was ready to go do work to make sure all of the, uh, the power lines are cleared. And there's like nothing going on down here um, but yeah we also have a pump station that is gonna generate a lot of water for our city right here so these pumps over here aren't actually gonna be doing much this whole station is going to be doing stuff I, I think I keep hearing like electronic noises and I don't know if that's coming from this or not but uh yeah it sounds strange but anyway these buildings generate a lot of jobs for us we have uh, 170 like 350 workers per building and there's four of them here so we have a ton of jobs over here right now that we're gonna have a lot of people flooding down to and to make sure that nobody gets in we have little gates set up this is awesome uh, we have these little beam, uh, little blockade things that the person who works in the little, uh, the little house here can check their uh, credentials and then open and close the gates. It's just a little touch like that is going to be so awesome. I cannot wait to see uh, cars driving through this little complex and doing what they need to do. It's going to be amazing. I cannot wait to build this city. If my enthusiasm isn't showing, I, I don't know what to tell you because I'm so pumped. This whole little dam took me five and a half, six and a half hours. Uh, albeit, it wasn't all designing. There was a lot of time waiting for the water to settle and that kind of stuff. But uh, it's pretty much done. So from here, we need to go ahead and do some stuff. And actually, this road kind of clips through the mountainside. I might go through and fix that. But, uh, yeah, from here, we need to branch out. We need to start getting some housing kind of set up. I don't think we're going to touch downtown just yet. I kind of want to get, like, a small city set up up here. Maybe a little village-type thing uh, centered around this waterfall. 
and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a really cool little thing. And then eventually we can have a road shoot off of this road and go up and probably tap into this foresting area because this is awesome. A lot of trees up there. And then I noticed that this map only has one highway cutting through it. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe we turn this entire highway into like a toll road. And uh, by doing, we're going to have to use a custom prop. It's not actually going to generate any money for us. And we're not actually playing with money on anyway. But it's going to be really awesome. And we're going to fix this train hopping over this bridge. But yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Hey, look, we have another kind of tiny waterfall. God, I, I really love this map so far. And I hope you guys enjoyed this I don't know if this was a longer than usual episode. I got a suggestion that since I'm going to only really be doing one episode per week on this series that we do longer videos. And to that I'm going to say that we're going to do as long a video as we need to make it work. So anything I do in the time lapse, we're going to be more goal oriented in this series. Uh, like this goal was to get the dam done and we did it and it looks awesome. You guys name this in the comments. Name the lake behind it in the comments, and then leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this, and if you're excited for this new series, and a thumbs down if you hated it, of course, and if you guys want, you can support me on Patreon, the link pops up right about now, and follow me on Twitter, this link is on screen, and always, it's in the description, and guys, until next time, I'll see you back here in Northern Valley.